Hi guys, Dr. Peterson here. One of the questions I get a lot with SOT therapy is why would I do that over other treatments? So um, with respect to a microbe, there's four ways you can kill a microbe. It doesn't matter whether it's a bacteria or a virus or a fungus. You can take an herbal antimicrobial, right? Um, Lorisidin for yeast, for example, or cat's claw for Lyme. The upside to that is that it's probably not gonna kill things you want, right? The downside is it's probably gonna take a while for it to work. You can take a prescription antimicrobial, Valtrex for Epstein-Barr or herpes type one, um, doxycycline for Lyme disease. Uh, the upside is that your insurance will probably pay for that. The downside is the therapy potentially is going to take a very, very long time and the likelihood that you'll eradicate the microbe is pretty low, but you'll decrease it. There's no question you'll decrease the microbe, but you'll also potentially kill a lot of things you don't wanna kill, right? Antibiotic resistance is also a possibility. Then there's treatments like oxidative therapies. These are great, ozone, IV vitamin C. These are gonna kill microbes that are inflammatory preferentially over the non-inflammatory microbes. The reason that that's the case is because inflammatory microbes tend to have excess electrons, which is what causes the inflammation. And oxidative therapies steal excess electrons. So they're killing the bad microbes before they're killing the good microbes. This is a great treatment. Oligonucleotide therapy is just killing the microbe in question because it's silencing a gene on just that microbe. So the upside is, you don't have to worry about, if I take SOT, will it hurt my gut? No, it won't. It will just kill the thing that we targeted. Um, if there's a downside, it's that exact same thing. It is so selective, it just kills the thing that we're targeting. So if you have four infections, you might have to do four SOT treatments. Hi, Dr. Saxena here, Chief Medical Officer at Form Health. Thanks for visiting our channel. Make sure to subscribe to get the latest insights and information on functional and integrative medicine.